Oh, I can't get my uh, iPad thing to work right. <laughs> so hi everybody, I'm 10 minutes late. I have actually been having a very rough evening with a lot of little things. So Mercury retrograde is strongly affecting me tonight. <sighs> so <laughs> we are now here though, right? Okay, so this is the new moon in Taurus. And I have with me tonight uh, some wonderful candles that I just, I realize you cannot see right here, but I have them, I have them. All right, so let's see if I can show you without it flipping over. Hey Nicole, hey Morgan. All right, so this is what I got here, all kinds of candle stuff. All right. My yeah, this thing is just not going to work. I might have to set it up differently. Yeah, I'm going to have to set it up differently and let that thing fall. My friend put it up for me, and I guess it didn't do a very good job. <laughs> I'll put this here. All right. <laughs> okay, so let's move some of this stuff out of the way here. We'll put this one down next to you. Yeah, so... Whenever I'm running late, I always get people texting me. Hey, aren't you on live tonight? Hey, what's going on? And I'm like, oh my God, I'm trying to go live. But I'm like freaking out because I have all this stuff going on. So I was trying to make a link for all of you tonight. And um, the link was actually for, um, I made it. I made the, the handout for you guys for doing um, candle magic. And um, of course, the technology was giving me insane issues all evening. So... After I'm done going live with all of you, I will post the link here for you all, and um, you'll be able to download it. But while I'm doing it, I can't get it up for you, unfortunately, because of the technology issues. So it's going to take me a little while this evening to get that up. But it will be a cheat sheet for you because this is, um, if you don't know magic, if you don't know the correspondences, the planets, um, then you will need the cheat sheet for this. Um, if, if you do know magic, you'll be fine. All right, so um, the new moon in Taurus tonight, you guys, and I have a ton of stuff to go over with you. All right, so, <sighs> all right, hello, hi Greg, hi Shell, hey Bill, how's it going everybody? Thanks for joining. As you know, I'm blind, and I can't really see you unless I get really close. <laughs> and I'm going to show you all kinds of things for doing a ceremony tonight. All right. So this is going to be fun. Let me get out my some of my notes, because I have a ton of things to go over with you guys. All right. Yeah? Thanks, Thomas. Hey, Mary. <laughs> all right. So what I got here um, is quite a few things to show you. Now when it comes to candle magic, um, you want to do candle magic just like any magic with the planetary phases and with the moon phases. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is when if you're going to do new moon magic like tonight or waxing moon magic, which is these next two weeks, you want to do things that set new intentions, new beginnings, plant seeds, and manifest things into your life. Now, after these two weeks, we'll be at the full moon. Once we hit the full moon, the full moon through the waning phase of the two weeks will be when you let go of things, you release things, you, um, you banish things, you push things away. Okay, so maybe health issues or you push away um, certain aspects of your own life that you don't like, whatever you banish and push away during the waning and the full moon. So once you hit the full moon, then you can kind of release things and let go of things. But this is the new moon, so we're talking about manifesting tonight, a lot of people's favorite subject, right? Manifesting things into their life, like especially with love and money, with this Venus um, stuff we have going on because Taurus rules, you know, Venus rules Taurus, and we have the Taurus new moon. However, I want to let you guys know, if you do want to do a Venus-inspired uh, magical ritual, then you want to do it on the planetary in the day. So the planetary hour and the planetary day, sorry. So for Venus, um, during the, wa the waxing phase would be this Friday. So if you want to you do a Venus invocation, say love or money or beauty, those are Venus-ruled things, 
you could do Friday and you need to look at the planetary hours. So my cheat sheet, my little handout, <laughs> will have all that information and even links to where you can go on the internet and look for this kind of information, such as if you need to know the planetary hour to do your ritual. All right, so I'm gonna go over all of this with you. All right, so um, you wanna use a candle that corresponds to the planetary energy that you want to invoke. Because whenever you invoke energy, you're invoking based on the archetypes of planets, planetary energy. Those are archetypes. Um, they're kind of uh, a certain type of character in your life, a certain type of energy in your life, I should say. It's a spiritual energy. Hey there, Tammy. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to start with, just to be simple about this, I'm going to actually uh, go through the, the days of the week and the colors of the candles that you can use. So um, right now, I think right now, um, the planetary hours in Saturn. So if I did a planet a ritual, I would I would want to do it on the planetary hour or the planetary day. However, today is Tuesday, which is um, I want to say Mars. I don't have them perfectly memorized. I do have them um, on the cheat sheet for all of you. But yeah, Tuesday is Mars. Yes, I am correct. Um, so you would want to do Mars type of invocation work on Tuesday. No, today's Wednesday. I don't even know what day it is. That's Tuesday, Mars. Wednesday is Mercury, actually. So um, we're going to go over each one, though. I have seven candles for the seven days to talk to you about the seven days that you can do a ritual. Now, it's, it's really great if you can do your ritual for manifesting during the waxing and during that day that the planet rules, okay? Um, on during the waning, you want to you know do it on the, the day that the planet rules. However, if you can, if you can do it during the hour and the day, that you're going to get the most powerful um, results. Okay, you want if you want to get really powerful results, you want to do it on the day of the planet planetary rule and the, the hour of the planetary rule. Okay, so before we go there, though, I should probably just go over some of the more simple things, like. We will start with red. All right. So we're going to go over the colors and how they correspond to what you want to manifest. And then I will go over how to do the actual ritual. And so this involves carving, dressing with oils, um, and things. And now this doesn't take very long. And it's not as complex as high magic. It is, this is kind of, this is chaos magic. Because with this, I, I tend to do my high magic rituals, and then I do um, to raise my vibration, and then I do my low magic, which is the, the candle magic. Right, so we have the, the red Mars ruled. Now, I want you guys to understand that red is not good for love, okay? A lot of people think that red is good for love because of Valentine's Day and red stuff. No, 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 no. All right, so you've got to be careful with this because you're, you're playing with planetary energies and inter planetary energies are elemental energies all right so this this red candle is root chakra energy and this is mars so this has to do with power this has to do with vitality this has to do with if you need to go out and compete and win something this has to do with um hey there <laughs> this has to do with uh lust and passion so if you're looking to have more sex this would be a good one for that, but not romantic love, okay? If you're trying to like, hey, I think I want to just go out and play the field, right? This would be a good one for that. This is not good for romantic love. I want to make sure that you understand that. Um, this, though, is, is the Mars energy. So you would want to do this on Tuesday, okay? You would want to use this candle on Tuesday. So I'm going to go over briefly each one and what they mean, and then again, I have the cheat sheet for all of you. And then I'm going to show you how to do this, okay? All right, so let's do orange next for the second chakra, right? Um, these are regular unscented candles, yes. Um, you can make your own candles, and um, you can put herbs and scents in them, or you can just dress them like I'm going to show you to do. Um, but these, yeah, they're unscented. <laughs> um, this right here, orange, is um, actually, uh, I want to say... I'm going to look at my, my cheat sheet notes. Yeah. So, let me, let me do it up here. Okay. 
So yeah, this is sun energy. A lot of people think that um, the yellow one is the sun energy, the solar plexus, but this is actually Mercury. Um, this is sun energy. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do this after I go over each one. Um, so this one right here is really good for career. It's good for just success in life and bringing light into your life. And um, also it's great for anything to do with that second chakra, which has to do with connection and intimacy, um, manifesting things in your life through your lower chakras, um, which would be like manifesting a good career even. This is sun energy. This is um, very solar. So this is also, if you want, you can use orange or you can use gold for this um, too. Uh, so anyways, the orange one is sun energy. So if you want to brighten up your life, if you want to, you know, get really great at um, your career or something like that, this is also very good for that. Um, the yellow is corresponds to your solar plexus, the third chakra, and this one is actually mercury energy. So with mercury energy, um, this has to do with uh, communication, um, anything to do with like focus and intellect and um, clarity. So this is very mercurial, right? <laughs> you have your chakra pillars. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just kind of giving you guys, you know, the reason you would use these, okay? Um, let me see. With yellow, we have, yeah, communication, focus, creativity, confidence. Yeah, so confidence is a very important one for the solar plexus, right? So this one is really good for confidence, brightening your life, success, communication, even um, mental focus, clarity, mercury. Okay, so anything to do with mercury. Um, yeah, it could be self-esteem as well, yes. And then um, the fourth chakra is the green, emerald green chakra. Um, so we'll go over that one next. This is, this is not, you know, a lot of people think of this as a very, I won't even go on that. Okay. <laughs> yes, this one's for love. This one is for love. It's the heart chakra. So it has to do with abundance and love and um, fertility, um, fidelity. Okay. Um, Anything to do with that, you know, earthy beauty. This is Venus, okay? This is Venus. So this this has a lot to do with um, Venusian energies, which would be on Friday, right? You do this one on Friday. And, um, yeah, if you're trying to do love, money, um, Mother Earth, exactly. Yes, um, this one is, is great for fertility and stuff like that. Um, then we have the next one is the fifth chakra and the fifth chakra is oh sorry the light blue fifth chakra is your light blue chakra and so right here right. this one is all about um, the moon yasad right this is moon energy so this one has to do with um, let me go over it real quick the light blue is yeah moon so um, it has to do with like your your own internal truth when you speak your truth, right? So it can also be connection to your higher self and connecting to your knowing and your knowledge and everything. So this one is great for connecting to high self, uh, speaking your truth, finding out the truth, knowledge, knowing. Um, yeah, so that one's uh, that one's the light blue moon. This was it's good on Monday, of course, Moon Day. Where do I get these? Um, I picked these up at Avalon over here. Um, I'm actually going to order, start ordering my candles um, online, or uh, I might even start making them. I'm going to start uh, looking into some kits and stuff. But yeah, these are just simple. You actually, um, these are okay. Um, you, I would, I suggest using something bigger than this when you do uh, moon magic, moon candle magic. I would do like a bit bigger around and about three inches up. All right. Um, yeah, you do. Uh, been doing it for years. Making. Oh, you've been making them for years. Yeah, Thomas. I wanted to ask you about what kit um, you might recommend or, or anything. Um, yeah, Thomas. Follow Thomas Tarot on Periscope. He's he's awesome. He knows a lot. Um, so let's do the uh, the next chakra. I think I went over everything, right? Moon day, right? Okay. So here, Halen. <laughs> Um, the, this one right here has to do with third eye, right? Indigo. Um, so this one is um, 
This is the, I can remember. This is the dark blue. So yeah, this is Saturn, right? Where was Jupiter, yeah. No, that was Jupiter. Yeah, this one is like a royal blue or an indigo blue. So this one actually has to do with Saturn or Saturday. So you could use this one to um, as the same as a black candle. So you can use this candle, uh, dark blue, indigo blue, or a black candle uh, to use Saturn energies to protect you. This is really good for protection. And it's also really good for um, like sending, <laughs> making black magic bounce. So if somebody, if you know somebody's messing with you, you can use this kind of candle or even the black or just a dark, dark blue candle to make it bounce back. Um, no, this is, this is like, um, you can also use this one for indigo. You can also use it for third eye opening. But yeah, this is more, I'm talking more about, you know, the dark blues, real dark indigo blues and uh, blacks are good for protection and banishment and um, just kind of um, keeping you or even blocking something. Right. So that Saturn. Saturn is like the brakes. Saturn blocks things. You just had a breakup? I'm sorry to hear that. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, also, um, with the moon day, right, we need uh, white or silver also. I don't have uh, silver, but I do have white here for moon day. It's a little ivory, though. But yeah, white or uh, silver. And then finally, we have the uh, purple. Purple is Jupiter. Let's see if I can... Uh... Oh, Thursday, right? So um, Jupiter energy is Thursday. I was trying to remember what day this was. Um, this one is actually really good for expansion. So if you're looking to expand something, to make something bigger, like grow your wealth, or, um, you know, because this is royalty and wealth, but it's also spirit. So if you're trying to open your third eye, if you're trying to get more visions, open this crown chakra, connect the spirit more, psychic visions, this is really good. The purple is great for that. Jupiter is expansion and luck. If you're trying to bring more luck into your life and expand something, then this is really good for that. So that's the colors and how they correspond to the planets and the days. Um, why is somebody on here talking about needing help? I'm sorry, I'm not the right person for you. You need to go somewhere else, honey. I'm not enjoying you doing that on my scope right now. Um, okay, so that was understanding the candles. Um, next, I want to talk to you about uh, what you can do to actually make them work for you. All right. Um, so first you want to clear your space and you know that I am big into the lesser banishing ritual of the pentagram and the banishing ritual of the hexagram. So that will clear your space if you want to do something like that. You can also sage your space. Um, this right here is my sage uh, smudging spray. I made it. Um, all you do is get a little sage essential oil and distilled water. Make sure you use distilled water when you're using it for cleansing or anything like this. Um, but I always put that in here. You know, I put the distilled water in here, put one drop or maybe even two drops of sage oil. Cleanse your space. That's the first thing. Then you want to cleanse your candle. Whatever candle you're going to use, you want to cleanse the candle. There, now, you can use one of the five elements to cleanse the candles. Right? We have the four basic elements, air, fire, water, earth. Oh, I forgot my salt. And um, the fifth element, does anyone know what the fifth element is? I'm sure I've mentioned it before. before. The fifth element is ether. It's ether. So if you are really, really good at manifesting things. If you have a natural high frequency and maybe you're a practice magician, you could go the etheric way, the fifth element. You can use the fifth element to cleanse, right? Um, so with the fifth element, you know, you would just will it, right? 
Um, now, to use one of the other four elements, I'm going to show you how to cleanse your candle with the one of the four with the other four elements. Um, now, a very simple way is to spray it with some distilled water and sage. Okay, that would be the water element. Um, you can also use fire element. All right. So what we're going to do here. Okay, with fire element, hmm. which one should we do? Should we should do a real ceremony, right? Uh, I should have looked at the planetary aspects. Well, I guess that would make sense. Yeah, Saturn. I picked up the right one. All right, so this is how you cleanse with fire. You do want to make sure you cleanse your candle unless you just made it yourself and you already cleansed everything, okay? So with fire, all you do is you take it and you just roll it over the fire element. And as you do it, you want to tell it, hey, purify, cleanse, purify, cleanse, purify, cleanse. Purify, cleanse, whatever you want to say to make it clean. Okay. So, um, now it is cleansed with the fire element. Um, another way you can do this is to cleanse it with air element. Okay. Now, with air element, what you're going to use... Where did I put my... There it is. Um, this is uh, Tibetan frankincense handmade. This is actually really good frankincense. Don't use stick incense, the regular that stick incense that you can buy. Don't use that. That's, that's synthetic crap. It's, it has other stuff in it. Do not use that to cleanse. You want to use something very pure. So um, I, I suggest either sage. You can burn sage like this right here. Or you can burn frankincense. These are two very cleansing, protecting type um resins. <laughs> you want to use resins from the earth, right? And um, plants, you know, oxygen, right? Air element. So we're going to use air element. Frankincense. Love the smells. <laughs> um, all right. So here we have some sage. Um, and this is, uh, this would be air element, you guys. So air, you know, you just do this. Right, and get it going. And then you're just going to, again, purify and cleanse your candle. Make sure you get it good. I would say about maybe 20, 30 seconds, something like that. You don't need to even do it for a minute. But um, put it out in the shell. That's why, I have, that's why people always have the shells, because you put the sage out in the shell. <laughs> smells good. Um, with the frankincense, I have a little cauldron. Yeah, old age, right? <laughs> so, light the frankincense. I wish you could smell this stuff. It smells amazing in here. I love the energy in this room. So I do so many rituals every day. Yeah, that's good. Good stuff. There we go. So now to cleanse, again, you say with intention, cleanse and purify. Cleanse and purify. Ooh, that's a nice one. That is some good incense, you guys. <laughs> all right. So this is a super clean candle now, because I'm using all the elements. We did, um, well, I didn't do the water. Did the fire, the air. And the final one is earth. So with the earth element, you cleanse with salt. So I meant to actually put some salt in here to show you. But what you would just do is take a plate of salt, um, and then you would take the, uh, the candle and you'd place it in the salt and roll it around in the salt as you say cleanse and purify, and make sure you get it all over it. And then you just wipe it down. Um, so that cleanses and purifies. Now you have a clean candle. Now the candle represents you, or it's, it's a wax effigy. 
so this is like, it's like voodoo. All right, you guys? So, you know, voodoo doll, right? Well, this is a wax representation of you or another person if you're trying to do something for another person. So you are actually using this as your own energy. Okay, so I'm going to show you some stuff here. All right, so we cleaned, right? Let's see. Make sure I'm not missing anything. I wrote notes for you guys. <laughs> yep, that's it. All right, so now we get to carve. Next step is to carve. So you want to use a tool. All right, so I have a nice magical blade here. Symbolizes of the air element. Um, you can use um, a skewer stick. <laughs> you can use a toothpick. You can go to the craft store like Michael's and pick up some little um, carving. They have little carving tools that you hold in your hand. You can carve things. I use my dagger. I use this in Ritual. Um, and the way that you can make sure that your tools are always cleansed. And again, you can use one of the five elements. Um, you can go over the uh, fire. Right? I have uh, this going. So it has pure intention from you for what you're manifesting. And then you want to carve in here what you want to do. All right, so we're right now in the hour of Saturn. And today is Wednesday. It's a Mercury day. Right? So not a, I mean, it's more important to do the day. So if we're in Mercury, clarity, visions. And hey, this is pretty purple indigo. So let's do that. So what I would do is I would carve. The first thing I'm going to carve is the planetary symbol, all right? So I'm going to carve the Mercurian symbol into this, all right? So with the, the Mercury symbol, I'm going to actually use this, and I'm going to carve. And I suggest carving a bunch of stuff that symbolize that same planet. Um, sigils, um, you have the color, um, you want to do, you know, the actual symbol. And again, my, my cheat sheet, my handout, I have all the symbols for the planets on there for you guys. Alright, so I'm doing Mercury, you can see that, that's the symbol for Mercury. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's the symbol for Mercury. And um, then, you know, you want to even, you could even write in English if you wanted to on here. English isn't as powerful as a language, but it is still a language. So all language has intention behind it. Um, so, you know, clarity, focus, visions. Um, you could even write, if you're trying to manifest, say, love, and you're, you have somebody in mind, make sure you do a divination first if you ever do that, you guys. Do not ever do magic on something like that unless you're in. You really shouldn't do candle magic at all unless you do a divination first. All right. I told you. I told you. <laughs> OK, so if you write somebody's name in here, make sure you do some uh, make it. Make sure it's OK. All right. So I could write, you know, uh, vision, clear vision all the way across it. <laughs> Thomas says a lot of people won't listen I know but you know if you can't do a divination yourself and you want to do magic make sure that someone you know does it for you all right or maybe you contact Thomas or me or somebody and you say hey you know I need a quick reading to make sure I can do this and it's not gonna make something bad happen I never do anything without a divination so you see I wrote vision across it right I don't know if, how well you can see that on this camera, but I, I carved it, all right? And then I could carve, um, you know, um, the symbol for the actual chakra up here. I could car carve an actual uh, sigil, okay? But that's as far as I'll go, just to demonstrate for you guys. And um, so once you carve, then you got to dress, okay? So when you dress, there, now you can see it maybe a little clearer vision. It looks pretty in person. I don't know how well you can see it on here. 
um, but you want to dress it, okay? So uh, <laughs> I'm going to actually use a bromelain oil. A bromelain oil is um, it's very ancient, uh, magical oil mixture. It's a potion. Um, I made this uh, with my OTO friends uh, years ago, so I'm almost out of it, but I still have some in here. So this is very fiery. This is very manifest and like, whoa, <laughs> you, want, you want some heat? <laughs> this is a bromelain. It has uh, cinnamon and myrrh and a few other things in it that are very powerful for manifesting. Um, you can use, for instance, if you're doing a love ritual, you'd want to use rose. Or, um, and you'd want to use a combination. You want to look these up on the internet. All you have to do is to say um, essential oils, candle magic, love, or money, right? And you'll get recipes on there. Real simple, real easy. Or you can buy an actual candle that's already dressed from the store. Um, but never buy one that has the glass around it. You don't want to use the, gla the, the glass candles. You want it actually to be able to really just burn out, right? And you want to be able to carve all over it. And that's why I say use a bigger candle than this one. This one's a little too small. Yeah, be careful with directions online. That's true. Yeah, but I mean, if you're going to dress it with some oils, that's not, I mean... I actually can give you guys a good website for um, for actually buying the oils pre-made that are really good. Um, so anyways, what you would do is you would take this, this abramelin oil or whatever oil you want to use that's a good essential oil, all essential oils. Right? You're going to dress, dress it. Now with intention, when you do this stuff, when you're carving, when you're dressing, you're very focused on what your intention is, okay? So stay very focused on the intention. You really dress it and then make sure the whole thing is good. And when you burn it, you know, you're going to make sure that this wick is very straight up so it doesn't burn to one side, right? So you dress the, the thing. Um. And now you want to take the oil that you now have all over your fingers and you want to put it on the chakra that corresponds, okay? Um, what happens if the wick isn't straight? It burns to one side and so it's just an imbalanced burn, which is not good for ritual. You want it to be as balanced as possible. So I'm going to play this, this at my third eye. Now you can rub it on or you can do a symbol. So you can do the mercurial symbol, right? which will give me clarity, focus, and visions, right? So again, it's really about getting the oil on you, though. You know, and if you can actually keep the oil on you, the longer the better. But really, the spell, um, it corresponds to the hour that you're in. So really, it's all, all about that hour. So I did all of the dressing, and now what I would do is I would take the candle, <laughs> and... I will meditate with the candle with very clear intention on what I'm looking for. And then I will remove that. I know that's in the camera. And then I will just let it burn. Now, be careful, you guys. When you're doing candle stuff, don't just you know leave the candle and not check on it or anything. Just be really careful. You don't want to leave it all day and leave or anything. Make sure you're using a small candle so it doesn't have to burn forever. Um, or or what you, another thing you can do is you can do it, start on, say, Wednesday because it's the day of Mercury. And then because you started the ritual and the intention on that day, you can come back to your candle every day um, and have it burn for another hour every day until it's burned out. You don't have to let it burn out completely during that day. You have to snuff yours and yeah, and do it again. Yeah, yeah. So it's good to do this. Um, 
you know, uh, for that hour. Or, you know, if you want to let it burn for a few hours while you're walking around the house doing stuff or whatever, that's fine. But after you do your meditation work, um, definitely um, don't let it keep burning all night. <laughs> and make sure you're using a um, candle holder, right? Or if you have a fireplace, you can put it in the fireplace because um, that's safer, right? Um, but definitely don't just leave it somewhere. So yeah, I think that's all of my stuff I was going to go over. Um, yeah. <laughs> cool, Amy. Um, yeah, so I actually have um, a cheat sheet for all of you that just jumped on. And I will post that um, with the video on Facebook, YouTube, and on BrandyJoy.com tonight. Um, but right now, <laughs> unfortunately, I don't have the link on me right now. Um, but yeah, it will be just a little download where I'll have, I have the chart put together for you. So it says, you know, the color, the days of the week, um, the symbol for the planet. Um, I have the, what, how to use that candle for what. And then underneath that, I have a couple of links because the first thing you need to know is the um, hour. Okay, so you need to know the day, which I give you in the chart, but the hour is a lot harder. You have to know like what city and what time and what time of year and what day and all this stuff. And it used to be really complex to do this. If you look in the modern magic book, it's like, oh, do all these calculations. But now, luckily for us, being in the age we are, you can actually look this up on the internet. So I have the link for you, a link for you, a really good link that you can open up and you can actually just say, okay, so if I want to do this on Mercury, what is the hour that I need to do this, you know? Um, and then you um, also want to know if we're in the waxing or the waning moon, the new moon, full moon. And I have a, a link on there for that for you to look at those as well if you want to, you know, track that. I track the moon every day. I know what's going on with the moon. Oh, thank you, April. <laughs> thank you for joining. <laughs> yeah. So um, how many of you are going to try that this week? Because new moon and Taurus, with all this coming out of these crazy retrogrades and stuff. Aw, oh, thank you. <laughs> Good site for the oils. Yeah, yeah. Actually, you know what? Um, I will. I, I can put that on the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can do that. Awesome. Yeah. So, um, depending, remember... You know, it depends on what day, what, what you want to do, and so what day you got to do it on. Yeah, cool, Thomas. Do, do they have blends um, for things, or do they just have the pure essential oils that are not blended? <laughs> awesome. Yeah, make sure you guys download my cheat sheet thing, though, because it's super simple, uh, simplified. <laughs> oh, they have blends, Thomas. They have spiritual blends. Perfect. Wonderful. Yeah, send me that information, Thomas. We'll get that on the, the cheat sheet for everybody, too. I'll send, uh, I'll put that on there, and I'll put this other one on there, too. Um, yay! <clears throat> Time to manifest, guys. This is the next two weeks, starting tonight. Start manifesting. Start setting your intentions and going, this is what I want. This is what I need. This is what I need is going to happen, right? Okay, cool, Thomas. <laughs> Yeah, Thomas is super into candles and essential oils, so he's going to send us a link. <laughs> yeah, and remember with the Taurus, you know, it's all about the physical. So anything with money, love, and beauty, nice time to do that. You know, very nice time to do that this week, especially Friday, because Friday is Venus Day. It's our Venusian Day. Yay! <laughs> So, all right. Well, any other questions or anything? Oh, you made a big financial decision tonight. Oh, wow. You know what you're doing Friday? Very cool. <laughs> and, yeah, for, um, for Venus, you can do a green or a pink candle. Venus energies. Yeah, thank you for joining. Have a wonderful evening, and if you missed the beginning, make sure to watch the replay. <laughs> cool. I'm glad it helped you guys. You're confused, Tammy? Why are you confused? 
You're welcome. Glad to help. Love and light to all of you. Thank you so much for joining. I'll stick around a few minutes for quick questions and answers for you. Love and light. Namaste. <laughs> I have somebody saying they're confused, so we'll see what the question is there. Oh, just a lot to take in. Well, I have the cheat sheet, and um, you know what? I, I can add a little bit to the cheat sheet tonight before I, I post it. I already put it up, but I can I can redo it real quick. Um, I can add the process for you guys. I'll put the, the steps in, and then I'll, uh, I'll add that other link for the essential oils as well. Thomas, make sure you uh, message me. <laughs> um, I will post the cheat sheet here. I'll post, oh, sorry, you're on Periscope. I'll, I'll post it on Facebook, YouTube, and my regular blog, brandyjoy.com. Mm -hmm. I'll have it on all my stuff, except for Periscope, of course. Can't post it there. But it will be on brandyjoy.com, brandyjoytv on Facebook, brandyjoytv on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Happy New Moon to you. <laughs> okay, Thomas. <laughs> Thank you, Sherry. So, love and light, everyone. Happy new moon. I'll let this one burn since I did Mercury. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, Tammy. Actually, um, I haven't done a lot of candle magic, but I've done a lot of, um, yeah, thank you. Um, I've done a lot of magic. I've done a lot of uh, magic with uh, manifesting with talismans and amulets, which is very similar to this. Um, and I've done a lot. I've done some um, candles now. I've tried out some. Um, but I have mainly worked with, I've done, done some crystal grids. I've done um, mainly the amulet and ta talisman work is very intense. That is like a weekend workshop. And um, I've done tarot as well, tarot, um, uh, what is it called? Tarot magic, where you uh, manifest things with tarot spread grids. So I've done quite a few different things, but um, the candle magic is newer for me, but I do know so much about magic that it came pretty easy when I started looking into it. I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. But um, a lot of the people that I've talked to um, have done a lot of, that have done a lot of candle magic, love candle magic and say that it's extremely successful. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, Thomas is on it. He already sent me the link. <laughs> yeah. I feel like this is kind of in the way of the camera a little. It's pretty. It's pretty. I love purple. I love pinks and purples. So. All right, you guys. I'll let you go. Um, go do your candle magic. It's the new moon. Check the calendar. I'll put the link up in just a little while. Just got to, you know, I'll add to it for you guys. I'll add the steps in. I didn't think about that when I put it together. <laughs> but... I guess it is a little more complex than I really thought about when I was thinking about doing this. Um, so, thanks for joining. Thank you so much, everyone. I love you all. Love and light to you. Namaste. Mwah. I hope you have a wonderful time manifesting. And please, I would love to hear about your success. I love hearing from you guys, especially when you try some magic out or you try something out, astrology, whatever. I love hearing from all of you and your successes. Um, that's why I do this. Spread the love and light, everybody. So have a wonderful night, and I will see you on next Monday, if not sooner. You know, I do Monday and Wednesday nights at 10 p.m. every week. So, all right. Bye for now.